Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video, I'm going to be talking about both brake cutoffs and gear change sensors. What I've learned about them and what I think about them in terms of when they are or when they are not useful. It's something that I get asked a lot, so it's going to be nice to be able to link to this video in the future. I'm also going to take this one apart so you can see how it works if that's of interest. I'm not actually a huge fan of these. There are probably some people that really like them and that's okay. It's a big world. You can make your own mind up. So how this works is you have a wire cable that runs from your shifting lever to the derailleur and that basically runs through this device. And when the cable moves backwards and forwards, there's a sensor inside here and it detects the movement and sends an off signal to the controller. Power to the motor is cut until the gear change is complete and then it's back on again. The theory is that it prevents damage to the chain and the sprockets. And it's not particularly complicated. And if I open this up, you can see how it works. So all you have here is a path for the cable to run and that runs past a wheel. And when the cable moves, it physically turns this wheel and then that is detected by a sensor below. So there's probably just a little hall sensor in there that picks that up. And then it sends that signal to the controller and says the shift cable's moving, cut power. And then when it stops moving, it says gear change is complete. And then you can carry on. And there's like a little bit of a delay, uh, which I think you can tune in some controllers to give you like a, like a longer delay before the power comes back on. And it's kind of, the issue I find is that it's very abrupt. Like if you're shifting on a hill, it will just literally stop you dead. And you can then get stuck between gears where it's sort of half shifted and the chain can get jammed. Like in an ideal world, you should pick the right gear to start with. But if you're riding a route you've never done before, or you know, you just make a mistake because everyone makes a mistake with what gear you might be in. I think they're, they're like a nice idea. But I very quickly learned that there was a better way to do it, and that was to use the brake cutoff sensor instead. And they're essentially very similar in that both operate a sensor. When you pull the brake, there's a sensor and it cuts power to the motor. But I found that you don't actually have to like be engaging the brake to do this, and like a very light pull will trigger the sensor. So what I used to do to shift gears with my stock BBSHD was I would put a light pull and that would disengage the motor. Then I would shift the gear, I would spin the cranks, and then I would re-engage the motor. And with a bit of practice doing that, I found I was able to shift gears much more smoothly than using the, the gear cutoff sensor. I did try some different settings with this in the BBS HD, but I could never get it to feel as smooth as using the brake cutoff trick. Like a popular question I get is, do you actually need any of these things? And in my experience, it depends on whether you're using the cadence-based pedal assist or a torque-based pedal assist. And with cadence-based, it's very much on and off with the power. So being able to cut it becomes much more useful, I think, than with a torque sensor. I, I really appreciated having the brake cutoffs on my stock BBS HD. With a torque sensor though, if you pedal lightly, you get much less power through the drivetrain and pedal harder and it's more. So it's very much then like you would change gears under solely human power because you can modulate things for a smooth gear change. So if you're using a torque based system, then I would say that the, the gear sensors are a hindrance in that case. And actually with the CYC photon, you, you can't even use one of these. The brake cutoffs uh, in some cases apparently are still useful. I have not missed them at all on my CYC photon or use them on the new motors from 2.7, all of which are torque sensing. Uh, if you have one of our kits, the, the HV kits, one of the slickest and smoothest ways to shift is actually to use the, the motor idle feature. And that's where when you're riding, it keeps about 50 watts of power running through the drivetrain at all times, unless it's canceled by a, by a brake cutoff. And this small amount of power not only keeps the chain tight, but you can use it to shift the gears up and down very, very smoothly. So if you're riding throttle, you just drop off the throttle, you shift gear, and then the 50 watts will jump it up and down, back on the throttle, and away you go. 
So that's my experience with, with the gear sensors and with brake cutoff sensors. If you have comments and stories with these or other tips, please post them in the comments because they'll help people for sure. As always, thanks for people for watching and a huge thanks to the channel members. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.